Hi, beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Aquarius, this is your monthly read for May of 2024. And before we dive into your uh, energies, I just want to say you probably have noticed that I haven't uploaded too much of videos lately. And it's because I'm venturing out in a different arena, having all these beautiful conversations with really intriguing, inspiring uh, people that I will soon start to upload here. Um, I'm down the rabbit hole of editing, so, <laughs> so, but that's coming shortly and it's just something I really love to do. And I, I will continue to do the monthly reads for you all and I will continue for a while to do a personal reading still. So if you're interested in one, please read about it in the description and send me a message. I don't know for how long I'm going to continue to do those. So if you feel like you're drawn to it, you've been wanting to do it for a while, then now is your chance. And also thank you so much for your likes and subscribes and your donations. I see them all. I try to answer when I have time. Uh, I'm just so grateful. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. I uh, don't know why I'm starting to shuffle like this. Because I don't shuffle like that usually. <laughs> so Aquarius. I don't know. Is that something? Uh, it might just be the Aquarian way. You do it your way. You do it a different way. You don't want to do things the way that everyone else is doing it. So that might just be the message there because this is a little bit tricky to shuffle like this to have cards jump out. So I will just flip that around. Okay, okay, Aquarius. For the month of May, what do we have? We start with an overall energy here and then we'll go deeper. Uh, get ready for a positive change. You're definitely coming out of something because this is my like moving from, it's called moving forward, get ready for positive change. But it's like coming out of winter. I mean, obviously, if we just look at the weather in Sweden, where I'm sitting, today is the first day that we've had a little bit of a warmer weather. Uh, it's been going on for a couple of days. But like, I think it was like last week that I had like a beanie on and a winter coat to walk and drop my kid off at daycare. And today, my son was out playing soccer um, in a t-shirt. So it's like, it varies really quickly. And obviously, so the climate, um, I just feel like that's a part of the message. Like the climate changes really quickly, uh, in the sense of like the energy, maybe even the weather where you live, or maybe that's a little bit more steady, but you just for sure see if you're in the Northern hemisphere, you see coming out of winter and really moving into spring, maybe even have like a little feel of summer already. Um, depending on where you live, obviously. If this is just an energy thing, because if you're li living in the Southern Hemisphere, you're obviously moving out of summer and into fall and come winter. And so it's probably more like an energy state that you're coming out of a situation. Maybe you've been a little bit in hermit mode. You've been doing your own thing. It doesn't mean that you have like completely shut off from the entire world. You might have just still gone to work. You might have your friends. You might have gone to things, um, you know, um, doing sports, whatever people do, uh, and then just had your normal life. But the feeling is that you've been more like to yourself, changing a lot of things about you. The internal change is, is really, I think I'm pronouncing this word correctly, palpable. It's really palpable. Like it's really going on and you're coming, you're coming out of something and moving into this new arena, if you will. Moving forward, get ready for positive change. Okay, we're going deeper into this message. What do we have for Aquarius, please? And at the very end, we're going to have the fairies come out and give you some messages as well. Two of winter. We're going with the winter theme. Two winter is about like indecision, like it's time to make a choice about something. How do we have a Aquarius? Thank you. Ten of Autumn and Ace of Autumn. So okay, it feels like it's almost like a before and an after and like come this May month. And I feel like this is, this is like a thread. This has been like a collective theme that there's a lot of shift and changes going on in the month of May. 
um, for everyone, it seems. And you're definitely coming from a place like to a winter. It's very much about like, what do I do? Where do I go? What do I pick now? Um, should I continue on this path? If I continue on this path, what does that mean? Uh, if I leave this path and go in a different direction, what does that mean? And then rather than be have it be like really exciting to to pick a path or pick a to like to make a decision about something it it becomes ambivalent that's the word right it's like an it's like a yes and a no is it this or is it that so it becomes a little bit of a vle i would say in swedish a little bit up and down or left and right and you can't really make up your mind and that energy within itself draws onto it more things for you to feel like you really can't make a choice so you know if you can just feel like if you're leaning in if you're trying them out if you can lean into either of the decisions that you're trying to make or like feel it out if you're and and one doesn't rule out the other i think that sometimes we're really fast to like okay if i pick this one it means that i can't do the other one what if you can do both maybe just not at the same time so which one do you feel like starting with which one feels most exciting to you and if it's like if you're sort of a little bit arguing for your limitations and say well i really can't choose or i don't even know what i have to choose between there's nothing there's no prospects there's no there's nothing to choose from um or if this is like oh my god there's like so much to do like there's so many things so many options on your plate that it's like it's hard of you to to really see which one stands out to you there's always going to be one that stands out to you a little bit more than the rest of them because it's going to be the easiest path it's going to be the path that lights up the most and that path will just like one comes before two becomes be that comes before three that there is a there is a natural course to whatever it is that you're doing so if you're just trying to sit with it as much as you possibly can like sit with if these are four choices that you have to choose between like write them down on a piece of paper and then to the best of your ability for one hour or for one day live it out as if this is the path you're choosing right now you will feel where you feel a little bit lighter or where you feel a little bit denser and it's not like i'm saying it's not like maybe three of them or like maybe one of them is like celebration and party and like oh you know fairies shot up out from your ears you <laughs> know it might not be that at all you might just feel like it's a little bit lighter just a little bit lighter and the other path is a little bit denser like a little bit heavier then you know which one to choose in that moment. And then you need to trust that. If it feels a little bit lighter to choose one path, that's that's the path to choose. It feels lighter because your inner being is telling you this is the easier part to begin with. Okay? So you're coming out of maybe even like a little bit of stagnation or feeling like nothing is really nothing is really moving forward. You might have a gazillion ideas. You might have, you know, thoughts about how to change certain things in your circumstances like in terms of relationships in terms of work in terms of health um in terms of hobby in terms of like whatever that is for you um but not really seeing any solid movement until now the may month is going to be the month where you you're going to start to move forward the energies are starting to move forward and it's for you to just Try to, try to practice as much as you can where you're going to move forward to. Because then comes Ten of Autumn and Ace of Autumn. And I guess we could say that Ten of Autumn is the bridge. A little bit it is the bridge. And it's like t Ten is the completion of the old. And it's the starting up for the new. And if we look at this card, it's like so many things are happening at once. I even see like a UFO. <laughs> I, see, I see, you know, fairies and UFOs and relocation and building a nest, uh, coming into new community, um, like so many opportunities. 
some of you guys are building like a new home or like visiting visiting a second home i don't know how to put that really uh I see it like the light at the end of the tunnel, but I also also see like the tunnel. It's like you're traveling in a in a tunnel tunnel to different. You might even be like out traveling at night to different dimensions. This is just like a lot of things happening, and this card, Ten of Autumn, is about making sure that. Mm, so whatever place you're coming from that you're coming out of, that you're now moving into, the decisions that you start to, start to make. The, the reason why you feel that you just can't jump on any, if it was just you, yourself, and you, you would be like, easy PC. I would pick this one in a heartbeat. But because you're um, responsible or, or at least feel a responsibility for maybe like um, maybe you have a business with employees, maybe you have a family and you're the sort of main income of that family. Uh, you might just be in a situation where you feel like you can't just pick and choose for your own liking. This has to bring money. It has to bring uh, peace to yourself and the people around you. And so you're you're choosing from more of a financial an economical standpoint than truly, truly, truly following your heart. And I think that's where you're stuck a little bit in between. That maybe it's like one part is a little bit more logical. This will bring me more money. This will secure my employees or my family. Uh, <clears throat> this other path would be a little bit more risky. Maybe I need to let some people go or maybe what would that entail for my family? Is that jeopardizing their well-being, their health, you know? So this is about making sure that everyone is in, in a good place. I think it's quite a lot to put on your, on your shoulders to take on that much responsibility. Um, but for whatever reason, you, you seem to have chosen this responsibility. You might even like this responsibility. You're just right now choosing like where to go with it. If that makes sense, if this is not a financial economical thing, <clears throat> excuse me, this might just be that you're just choosing in between. This could also be about like passing down, like feeling like it's really important to pass down whatever you're doing uh financially or with your work or you know what like what you're handing down to your children or you to your grandchildren or like you have like a really long-term thinking which is really beautiful um that might also be like playing out w with the choices that you're making right now or choices that you're thinking about making uh that is like a very long and this card is about that it's it's very much about the long-term thinking about family and how to build like a to have like a nest egg but that's like if you're a little bit younger maybe you don't have any employees you're just starting out and you even have that idea already that maybe you should just put something to the side so that you're building a nest for yourself and for your like coming family um but what this mainly is about is just family and be close to family and how important it is to have that community around you it doesn't need necessarily to be by blood but to be by choice that you what you would consider to be family um seems to be of great importance right now uh, it might also be that you're building your community of family right now that before maybe coming out of a, of a place where it's just been you and maybe a couple more people and that that's it and now there's something it can be like a spiritual community it can be uh, that you're just ex like coming into an extended family. However this is showing up for you, it's like you're spending a heck of a lot more time with family and family is important right now. Like you need them and they need you, okay? And then we have Ace of Autumn, which is just such a beautiful energy. A windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career and, and this change 
maybe some of you guys are thinking about uh, changing jobs, changing careers even, uh, like going into a different genre all, altogether. Uh, but this can also be like a very a happy change in your in your job it can be the thing that you've been thinking about. Like, if I make this shift, is that going to work? It's just really giving you the validation and the confirmation that thinking about it, and obviously you, you take responsibility for, I, I don't even think that you would take full you know, uh, advice from a, a YouTube channel like this, but it might give you validation of something that you already felt that, okay, I'm feeling into this. And if I were to choose that, I think it really could end up being quite beautiful. And here's the validation that yes, it would be. Um, and if you're in a situation where you feel like you're just coming out of something, it has been a little bit of a stalemate situation, a little bit of a limbo situation. Um, that's really interesting because my actually I should put on my dishwasher before I started this video and the dishwasher goes for a good it goes for a good time it runs for a good time and then it gets really quiet when it sort of dries everything up and then it pours out the final water and really goes into like drying up the rest and for that time where it's quiet that time is so long that I even forgot that it was running. So when it starts up again, every, every once in a while, I like, I'm like i getting a little bit startled because it's like, oh my God, I started the dishwasher. I, I even forgot. There's something here because I don't think that there's just a coincidence. I, I, you know, read in things of everything because I think that everything is a part of everything. So it's not just that we just happen to have this life and then, oh, by the way, the dishwasher came on. I think that's a part of, or it just wouldn't have come on during your video. I would have planned it differently. Um, so there might even be something right now in your life that you have planned for a while, maybe even going into this a uh, little bit of a hermit or thinking about where to go next or whatever. Something has really maybe even been in the works or like you even had like a plan to move forward with certain things, but due to maybe like some sort of shutdown, uh, uh, pause, um, something make, making you change your direction has like put that to a pause that you don't even remember or that you don't even recognize exactly how much work has already been put into what, wherever you're now going. So, and if this is not like a physical manifestation, meaning if you have a company or if you have a business or if you have um, a relationship, let's say a friendship or a romantic partnership, and it might not even be that you put like physical stuff into that. Like you see, um, oh, I already had this business up and running and then I put it on ice for a bit or I already had this relationship on, up and running and now we're sort of on a, on a little bit of a break. Uh, and now we're just going to pick up where we left off. This might be an energy thing that energetic, like I said, this might be, it might be an, a, a, between like logical and emotional. It might be between financial and what you heart, you, what your heart truly wants, but it can also be like an energetic thing that is like, you have been doing something, something has been in the works for quite some time where you might, might, might have just stayed on a thought level, maybe not even a thought level, maybe even just a feeling or a hunch or a pull in a certain direction that you don't really know how that's going to play out or how it's going to look. And now here comes the Ace of Autumn saying, okay, it's time to pick up where you left off or it's time to like make reality of that energy stream that has been there. It has been like a, on pause and now here, here, like it starts to flow again. And ACE is about new messages, new energy, new start, a fresh new beginning. And if, if you've been waiting for money to come in to support a project, to support your business, to support a relationship even, then May is a month, okay? Can I just have a couple more cards around this situation, please? Okay. 
And then we're going to see what the fairies has to say. Okay, I am drawn to another deck, so I'm just going to switch around. We don't have to force something out of something that will lead nowhere. So maybe that's a message for someone. We don't have to force something or try to make something into something. It just won't lead anywhere. Change it up. Six of Gabriel. Yeah, it's basically just saying, it's just validating what we already said. Six of Gabriel, this is, this is you... Um, this is saying, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Uh, awards, scholarships, or promotions. It sums basically everything up. It's like whatever journey you've been on, whatever you've been preparing, whatever you've been doing lately, you've done like so beautifully well. And it's time, it's either like time to move on. Like we had a 10 there, so it's a completion. So now it's like time to really move on to the next thing put this to the test put this to the works uh launching something um really make a decision about what you want to change in a certain circumstance uh, but it's like time to get going and whatever you done up till this point is done beautifully this might even be the first time that you get sort of recognized for it whether that's from your co-workers from your peers from your family members from a like in a close, like a romantic partnership, it feels like you're now getting the recognition that you really deserve. And I think you're open to it. Six is love and harmony. It's a beautiful energy here, moving in the right direction. You've done really, really well. But like, don't stop here. Now, like make that decision. Feel where, feel where the next step is and like try to just run with it. Trust that inner, trust that inner voice. Okay, some final messages from your fairies. <clears throat> what do we have for the, for the fairies, for uh, Aquarius? Set yourself free. Okay. And vacation. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling into the energy here a little bit. We have a parrot there. So it just, it feels like it might be a repeating pattern that you've done. It says uh, semester in Swedish, uh, which is vacation in English. Um, it might be a repeating pattern. So it's also saying like you did, you've done beautifully. Whatever you've done up until this point is so good. Like you've done awesomely. And the feeling here between like really... Um, showing up for your immediate family, showing up for, you know, community, showing up for people in the, in the vicinity, maybe not even up close and personal. Maybe you're just that type of person who just likes to help. You've done so much of that, that it's like, it's time to also steer the, like, you know, focus a little bit more on yourself. And like, it's so beautiful that you want to save up things to help others and that you want to, um, but it's going to come a time and it might have already come a time where you are a little bit forced to maybe even forced into this break. Maybe that was not like, if you were to say that that was not really your choosing, you, you had to slow down for whatever reason. And I think it's like the energy now is just trying to show you that you don't have to repeat the old pattern. We don't have to enter into the same that's what I got with this deck. It's like, if you try, if you're on your third run of trying a relationship that you have sort of said one time, I think we're a done deal. And then you're just trying over and over again to like, well, what if we do it this way? Maybe then it works. Or what if I try to change in this way? Then may, maybe then it works. Or you've had a business that you really believed in and you put all your eggs in one basket and you really went for it and and here it's like and here's the end of the road it's like no we're not going to continue on this path this is like a time to say and we're done here or it might not be that it's a like a failure 
we don't, we don't have to sort of look at it as a failure. You can just look at it as this is where the road ends or here's where the you, you got everything you were supposed to get out of this situation and we don't have to repeat anything now. And it's like time for a break. It's even time for a vacation for some of you guys, like to just take that time off and really figure out now which direction do I want to go in? Don't rush this. Slow and steady wins the race. You often get that message, uh, Aquarius, and this is no different. Slow and steady wins the race and just sit with it where you're going. And then this is, in Swedish, it's called Brita Selos, which is like set yourself free or breaking the chains or um, sort of getting away from getting away from something that doesn't work anymore something that's done we're coming back to that message over and over again like what, whatever you've done up until this stage maybe it's time to rethink or like try a different path or a different pattern uh, this is about like breaking old behaviors old patterns old um, even relationships that just doesn't serve where you're going and I think this is a big part of it. The big, like a decision on where to go next or what to invest in and what not to invest in and not just money-wise or like financially, economically, but like with your emotion, with your time, with your interest. It's like where where do you put that and what is really uplifting to you and what sort of keeps you stuck in the old behavior or old life, if you will that's what you're also like doing now you're breaking you're setting yourself free and you're breaking the change of that chains of that old version of you and i think that's sort of also coming into then in the, making these decisions on where to go next so understand like then you need even more to like just you know take your time and feel where you're going there's no rush. Where, where are you going that we're in such a hurry? You know? Okay. That's what I have for you, beautiful Aquarius. I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.